welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a highly requested video um, and I'm very excited to film it actually because it has been I think almost a month since I've been wanting to film this video. I'm going to start off with my Colourpop haul swatches and review a video for you guys. Um, I have the box. I still keep the box because it's just too pretty. Um, if you order directly from Colourpop, um, it comes in a really pretty box like this. And yeah, it's just very nice. I took out all the um, sponge and all that. I got two out of my five lippy sticks um, from a seller. It's from the Makeup Bag SG. So I will link their Instagram, Carousel and Facebook down below. They have a very good service. It's very easy to communicate with them. Um, but like I said, in my haul, um, if you're someone who's too excited and you want it like ASAP, uh, pre-orders might not be for you. But if you want to try it out, I suggest you try the Makeup Bag SG. On to how I actually got Colourpop from the US to Singapore. Um, if you don't know, um, Colourpop is only, they only ship to US, Canada and New Zealand if I'm not mistaken. Um, but to get it to Singapore, I actually used Vpost and what Vpost is, is it's actually a service. It's a um, parcel mail forwarder service that Singpost offers. You just sign up for free online, just type Vpost, Google it and the first hit, um, that's pretty much it. You sign up for free and then they will give you a specific address um, for different parts of the world. So if let's say you're ordering from US, then they will give you a US address, um, a European address, a J Japan, Japan, Japan? Japan address, and or any part of the world and so on and so forth. Instead of inputting like your regular home address when you check out at a website that, that does not ship to Singapore, you insert in um, the address that Vpost already assigned to you. Bear in mind that um, when all of this is happening, you pay um, Colourpop as per normal. So for example, if you get $20 worth of lippy sticks or Colourpop eyeshadows, uh, blushes, whatever, um, you pay $20 USD to Colourpop and then they will ship it um, to the address itself. And then once it's there, um, Vpost will actually let you know and drop you an email telling you that hey, um, your Colourpop order is already in the warehouse. I just, you know, once it was at Vpost, I just clicked OK, send it to Singapore and then the whole process actually took about um, between 10 to 12 days. So it's less than 2 weeks. The first time round, I paid seventeen dollars um, Singapore dollars to get Colourpop ship um, the Colourpop shipment to me. But that's because when you um, sign up with Vpost, you actually get a fifteen percent off discount. However, the subsequent um, shipment, I had to pay twenty dollars um, twenty Singapore dollars that I split up with, split with my friends. So I just paid ten, and she paid ten. In my opinion, I think you can like consider using Vpost but I've heard from experienced users of Vpost and Com Gateway and etc. Like Sheena shares, I will link her blog down below. She was so nice to give me so much tips. But yeah, she told me that you know these kind of things depends and sometimes you, it's, it's better for you to compile it and let them repack so that the box is not just filled with air, it's actually filled with products or whatever your purchases are. That's essentially how I got Colourpop to me in Singapore. That's like 5 minutes of my video. <laughs> now let's get on with the real like review and to, uh, review and swatches. So I'm going to start with the lippy sticks first. I have lippy sticks, 1 lippy pencil and 8 eyeshadows. So I'm going to start with the lippy sticks first. I have 5 of them. Um, they just look like that and it's a very sleek packaging. It looks like a pen, a pencil. You just dump it in your makeup bag and it doesn't take much room. And you can actually see the um, colours that you have at the bottom of the packaging. I'm gonna go from lightest to the darkest for my lippy, pe uh, lippy sticks. First colour I got, which is the lightest colour, it's called Westy. And it just looks like that. It is a very... I'm gonna put it on my face or my skin. Yeah, just looks like that. 
I don't have any colour like this. It's a very nude pink. Like I don't have anything that this that is this nude of a pink or a mauve pink. I mean I have like Japanese maple but that's like a really muted peach colour but this is a pink and when I put it on my lips I was a bit disappointed at first because it was too light for me. It looked like I had you know those kind of like um like muted out like it's too pale. Then I made it work and I used next lip liner in world and then I love how it looked like. I had like the lip plumping effect. Yeah, I was very happy with how it turned out. It just looks like that. If you must know, I bought all matte, um, all of the lippy sticks in the matte formula because that's just my preference. And honestly speaking, these matte, even though they say they are matte, they are actually not as matte as my other matte lipsticks that I own. There's still some um, moisture in it, a little bit of shine but not too much and the staying power is amazing especially for the darker and uh, yeah the darker colours they really just stain your lips like crazy. If you have realised the tip of the lippy stick is actually angled which makes it easier for you to glide it on your lips and it's very for me, especially this one, I have a very smooth application. I don't need to tap on my lips or anything. Now onto the second color. This is the shade called Lumiere, and if I'm not mistaken, this is created by Kathleen Lights, and this is a very, very purple-based mauve color. And you know me and my mauves, I love it. And again, a very smooth application, and this is definitely, definitely darker than Westy. For my skin tone, this is the perfect Kylie Jenner lip colour. I really like it and again, this colour does not have any... It's not too dry, it just glides on very nicely and it's very pigmented as you can tell by the swatches. The next colour I want to share with you guys is my brightest colour that I own in my lipstick collection. Um, this is the colour Yasmin and like I said in my haul video, this was totally like a risk for me to take to get this because it's so freaking neon. It's a neon orange. I do not own any orange lipsticks because I feel that it does not complement me that much. But I thought that, you know, just for variety sake and for diversity sake, um, I should try this colour. It just looks like that. Ooh. So can you see how orange that is? And when I put it on my lips, I was a bit unsure at first because it's just so so bright. And out of all the lippy sticks that I own, this um, particular shade actually crumbled on me. Like the tip over here, it will, it broke a bit but um, I kind of just like went with it. And this one, actually I had to tug a little bit when I put it on my lips and when I put this on I actually decided to put a red lip liner around my lips and that made the look more wearable in my opinion so I was glad I kind of experimented with that because if not I wouldn't wear this it's very very bright like it's super super bright um, but yeah, I'm glad I have like an orange lipstick in my collection. The fourth lippy stick is I'm just gonna do Heart On. And Heart On is like a purpley pink kind of colour. Just as I don't know which hand to like show you guys, but yeah. It's a purpley pink colour and it's very, very nice. It reminds me of Max Girl About Town. And again, very smooth application and incredibly pigmented like you guys these this these things are super pigmented it's crazy it doesn't dry the lips out as well so that's hard on and the last one I have is one of my favorites or um, it is my favorite out of the um, clippy stick collection that I have which is just very little but yeah this color is called hard on and it is I don't know how to describe it it's like a pinky red lipstick it's pink but it's also red and it's just a very unique colour and I don't have this in my collection again. Um, look at that! Look at how pretty that is! Can you see that? It's like, it looks red but it also looks pink so it's just like a really confusing colour that I really like a lot. 
and I don't know whether you can tell by the selection that I chose for my uh, for my lippy sticks collection I took colors that I did not have in my collection typically like a nude um, this one is a typical color and this one is a typical color but most of it is colors that I don't own in my collection and now for the last lip product this is the lippy pencil and I got it in the color called Scandi and this was because I want a lip pencil to match with my MAC lipstick in Lickable. Thankfully, it matched. It's like a perfect match. It's a hot pink colour. Ta-da! It's so pretty and pink. And it's super pigmented. It glides on the lips very easily. It doesn't feather out. And I, I tried filming this video yesterday. And I was swatching at the back of my hand. And oh my god, you guys. Like, it stained my hand like for real and it was only 5 USD inclusive of all the shipping and everything I think I only paid like about $10 per lippy stick slash lippy pencil slash eyeshadow I have two eyeshadow foursomes from two YouTubers that I really really love the first one I got is by Shannon or Shen XO here on YouTube she's a New Zealander um, YouTube beauty guru and oh my god I am like obsessed with her makeup tutorials like you have no idea and then the second one is actually Where the Light Is by Kathleen Lights. Firstly, I love the packaging and before I get into swatching the eyeshadows, I'm just going to tell you guys that I love these eyeshadows. Let me just tell you that these eyeshadows will not budge unless you want them to. It is that pigmented and it is that like the, the same power is like freaking amazing so I'm gonna start with Shannon's um, eyeshadow for some first it comes in this packaging and these are the colors that are in her collection I'm just gonna take it out it's not a quad it comes in pots and it's supposedly a um, super shock shadow the texture of these eyeshadows are super freaking cool they are not powder but they are not cream but when you touch them it feels bouncy and a little bit wet but when you put it on your eyes it's like a powder i cannot even <laughs> how am i supposed to explain such things this is the color called um xo and this is the color that i put all over my lids in my april favorites now i'm just going to try and swatch from far like look at that pigmentation it's crazy like it is so crazy okay i'm um, i um, big mistake uh, <laughs> look at that i don't know if you can see oh yeah you can i'm just gonna wiggle my hand it's super pigmented and the thing with this is that you can either use it as a base or by itself but the most important thing is once you're done with it you have to sh close it um tightly again this is the color selfie it's a very like champagne glittery eyeshadow color I like to put this on my lids because it gives such a brightening effect and the next one is called Rebel it's a green it's like a moss green color and I can't wait to put this on I have not used this on my eyelids yet but I want to do a look on it so oh my god the texture is amazing like I feel like doing this all the time and this is how pigmented it is if you can see I'm gonna swatch it yeah it looks like a moss green color and the next color is called selfie it's a matte brown oh yeah the green color one was also matte um this is like a brown it's like a very warm brown color it reminds me of coco bear by makeup geek but a little bit lighter i like to use this color in my crease so again with the pigment it's like it's like wet but it's like dry i i don't know and the last color from the Shannon or uh, the Shen XO um, foursome from Colourpop is the color called Deluxe and I wore this all over my lids once. Just looks like that. <gasps> this one is like um it's like a bronzy brown color and it has sh shimmers inside. It has shimmers through it and it's super pretty like I can so imagine myself doing like a smoky, a brown smoky eye with this eyeshadow. These are the Shannon Shen XO by Colourpop eyeshadows. So I like the Kathleen Lights packaging. It's like a blush colour with rose gold um, 
rose gold font color. Cassie Lights one is like really, 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 really warm. So now I'm running out of places to swatch but I'm just going to swatch it anyway. The first one is called Blaze and it is a very interesting colour I must say. It's not a brown but it's not a khaki colour. It's sh it's super shimmery. Like it's super shimmery. Actually I have not swatched this but oh my god it's so pretty. Can you see that? Girl. It's very very shimmery. Like, I don't know if you can tell from here, but yeah. And the next colour is called Cornelius. And this is also a matte colour that you can put in the crease. It's a brown colour. And I'm just gonna... Um, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. It's almost the same as um, Selfie. And this next one is called Glow. And um, this one is like really, really... It's a matte colour and it's like really white or like very very cream of a colour. So it can get quite stuck of a white for you to use as a brow highlight but if you want to put this all over the lids I think it should be fine especially for us Asian skin tones. Can you see how white that is? Like yeah white. Ta -da! Last one is Kathleen Lights and it's just a very bright bronze gold colour. It's super pretty. Like, it's really, really, really gold in colour. Just like that. Woo! Kathleen Lights describes this as almost the same as Amber Lights, I think, by MAC. But for me, I think, because I don't have Amber Lights, this reminds me of Max Woodwink a little bit. And so we've come to the end of my Colourpop review swatches and how I got them and all that. Um, I forgot to mention that the Colourpop lippy stick, they smell very vanilla-y and so far I like the smell, it doesn't bother me but I do have to admit that sometimes it's too vanilla-y that it can smell a little bit plasticky. So bear that in mind if you are not a fan of that scent. Um, but yeah, essentially these are all the Colourpop lippy sticks and um, the eyeshadows that I got from Colourpop in the last one and a half months. Um, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet or if you want to see more videos from me. Do let me know if you want to see any other swatch videos um, in the comment section below. Um, I'll be glad to do them for you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video next week. Bye!